everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. I got mystery bags from Premier Yarns. Okay, before we go any further and I show you, the mystery bags have sold out. They are no longer available on Premier's website. But to give you a little information on what the mystery bags are and why I love them and all of that, we're going to start with mystery bags are random bags of yarn that Premier puts together and they sell them for like a deeply discounted rate for what this yarn normally would be. In the past, I have gotten amazing, amazing mystery bags. You have to be on top of it. When you see that there's a mystery bag on Premier, you have to jump on it and buy them as soon as you see them. They sell out really fast because they are that popular. Mystery bags are actually what started the Cinnamon Stitches channel because I wanted to show off what I got in my mystery bags because I couldn't find a lot of the mystery bag reveals on YouTube at the time. And so that's what started me with this whole beautiful adventure that I've been on. Some of the mystery bags that I have gotten have been, um, in the beginning, the first mystery bags I got was yarn that was either being discontinued the yarn brand or the colors were being discontinued. And so they would give me six balls of yarn or skeins of yarn that were, um, they would somehow go together. Like it would be three of one kind of yarn and three of another, but they would be similar weight and or color. And I got some amazing yarns out of the first several mystery bags that I've got. I have not ever been disappointed by my mystery bags, not one single time. And this has, the bags that I'm about to show you, it, it continues with me not being disappointed. Um, my mystery bags in the past, I have also got six balls of bamboo pop in my mystery bags. Bamboo pop is a pretty expensive yarn. And to get six of them, and they were all in the same color, um, was like an amazing deal. And the mystery bags are usually like $10 and go up to maybe $14. And other mystery bags, I have gotten, I got amazing, um, a wool blend that was wool and cashmere. It was like this fantastic yarn, and it was white, so I dyed it. It was like the best deal ever. I got five of them of cashmere and merino wool and there was nylon in there too for ten dollars it was the best deal ever and i still have those up there somewhere <laughs> matter of fact that might be some of it I'm, I'm not sure i don't think i don't think that is but i i dyed all of them and they ended up on the shelf and they were just beautiful beautiful skeins of hand dyed yarn that i got a killer deal on today I'm going to show you. This is this is box one. I'm still, as of right this very second, I'm still waiting on the next four mystery bags to show up in the mail. FedEx is supposed to show up sometime today. Hopefully they come to the right address. But I'm going to show you the first three that I ordered. Now, I almost didn't order these because sometimes you can guess what's in the mystery bags by what is in the descriptors. And I have been really good at guessing. Like when I ordered the Bamboo Pop... The description in the, the thing, I knew it was Bamboo Pop, which is why I jumped on it. And I ordered like three bags of it. But they were all the same color. So I really didn't need that many Bamboo Pop in pink. So I got rid of some of it and kept some of it. I made a beautiful watermelon shawl that I gifted out of it. But it was, it was a really good deal. This time, the yarn really surprised me. It really surprised me. Now, I watched Crystal from Bag of Day open her mystery bags, and I got so excited by what was in her bag. She opened this beautiful hank of yarn. These, well, there's five of them. It was like a yellowy rainbow, and it was just like, it. I was like, oh, I want that yarn so bad. <laughs> it was beautiful. It is beautiful. So I got so excited. I did not get the yellow one, but what I got, I am not unhappy with i am so pleased with we're gonna start with this number one mystery bag now the mystery bag this time said you're getting 500 grams of one specific type of yarn that all goes together so it would be 500 grams of this type of yarn or you know whatever 
which is just over a pound, in case you didn't know that. Um, I wasn't going to order them at first because money, honestly, um, my tooth expenses have been astronomical. Um, dental insurance sucks. I'm just going to say that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't have like extra money laying around right now because I'm trying, I'm still paying for my tooth. But everyone was telling me mystery bags, mystery bags. I was like, well, maybe. And then I thought it over. I hemmed and hawed and I was like, okay, well, I'll just get three. So I ordered the three and then I saw Crystal's video pop up and I hurried up and ordered four more. <laughs> and well, actually, no, I think I ordered the four more before her video popped up because when she posted her video, they were already sold out. So I just barely squeaked in getting those last four and I, I hope they're as good as these first three. This first bag has 10 balls of yarn in it. It's got the cool little sticker on there. 10 balls of yarn in it and it says that it is mixed fiber, festival mixed fiber, and it's in gorgeous blues and grays. Well, that's a grayish blue. What confuses me is that it says polyester acrylic 50 grams. This is not polyester acrylic. There is wool in this. I can feel it and I can smell it. This smells like, if you've ever smelled wool, it smells like hay. You can still smell the hay in the wool. And I don't care how many times you wash it, you can still, you can smell the barnyard in the wool. <laughs> It doesn't smell like poopy or gross like a barnyard, but you can smell like the, the hay in the in wool. All wool has that smell. And so that's definitely wool. You can feel it. I can see it. I can smell it. It's wool. I don't mind because I like working with wool. But it does. <clears throat> I smell too deeply. <coughs> oh, Got some fibers in the back of my throat. I don't mind working with wool. I was happy with this. I think this is a pretty good deal to get 500 grams for $10. See, and they're wrapped, differently wrapped. It's got black in it. It's got the marl look in it. Each one of these look the same, but they all go together. Isn't that beautiful? I am really happy with this. I'm really happy with this bag. And I have been seeing a lot of people have been post posting in the Facebook group, my Facebook group, the link is below if you're curious, um, what they've gotten in their mystery bags. A lot of people have gotten the festival mixed fiber and it is all completely different yarn. Some have gotten bulky weight. This to me is like, it's, it's really thin. Is really thin. I'm going to say it's a number two. It might even be a number one. It is, it's as thin as some of my sock yarn. So I am not, this is going to make like a beautiful giant shawl or a whole bunch of hats. I don't even know. I'm really pleased with that for $10. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And then this one <laughs> is not my favorite because I, I have like a love hate for linen, but this was a really good deal and I have yarn to go with this, to coordinate with this. So I can make myself a really nice cardigan or a top or something out of this. This is five skeins of Willow Yarns Field in the color Warmth which is a beautiful pinky beigey color. I wonder if this would take dye. Oh, inquiring minds want to know. I wonder if you can dye. I bet you can. I may have to look that up. Each one of these is 100 grams, 180 yards. The reason I have a love-hate relationship with linen is because 180 yards does not make a lot. It certainly doesn't make something big enough to fit me. I mean, it would make like a, maybe a little cowl or something. So you have to buy a lot of it to make something like a uh, wearable, which is what I want to make with this. And working with it, it feels like it's coated in wax, like hardened wax. So it's not smooth, but, but I have been told, and this is completely true because I did, 
I did a little test. When you wash this, and you can wash this in hot water. Well, I did anyway. I don't know what this says. Yeah, it says you can iron it too. Wash this in hot water. All that waxiness goes away and it turns into like this soft, lush, just gorgeous. Oh, it's going to make a beautiful, I really want to make a cardigan out of this. And I have, I don't have more of the Willow Fields, but I have the universal component to this whatever i don't remember what it's called but i was really really happy ten dollars for this i was really happy with that and then this last one this one made me happy too because this was an excellent this was an excellent bargain if you guys remember a while back i got some of the bamboo bamboo bloom and i put one of them on my head and it looked like a cartoon blonde wig <laughs> Because it's like it goes really thick, really thin, really fluffy. I have a bunch of it down there. But I don't have any of the multicolored paints. And you guys know that I love this yarn. I've already done a review on it. And if I can remember to post the link to that video where I actually show this off, I will. But this yarn, let me just pull one out and show you. It's just, it's so neat. It's so neat. Do you see how it goes from super, super thick to like really, really thin? That's the thinnest. Let's see if I can get that thick part. That's the thickest. Now when you when you work this up, I've seen it in knit and crochet. What it does is it gives you like thin flat parts and then puffs that look like if you like sewed on like flower puffs. They're not flower like, they're not flower shaped, but it's like little that's why it's called bloom cuz it's like little blooms of puff in the fabric. And I have looked up patterns on Ravelry to see what I could possibly make with this. Because I actually have, I have quite a bit of this. I mean, I have these five in this color, which is like gorgeous. But I also have the other ones that I purchased. And so this is going to, this is going to make a really fun project. I was thinking about a shawl or something like that. Wow. All the fuzz is sticking to the, I don't know if you can see that. A bunch of fuzz stuck to the label. Anyway. Five of these for $10 was an excellent deal because these are expensive. This is in the color Kabuki. And it's 154 yards, 48% rayon from bamboo, 44% wool, and 8% acrylic. And it is soft and lush and beautiful. And five for $10 was an excellent deal. Those almost coordinate together. I could totally, oh, that would be so pretty together. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> so that was in my first three mystery bags. I am going to wait and film the second part of this video when the next four come and give you my opinions on that, which should be later today, but this is actually Monday that I'm filming, so it'll be fine by the time I air this, which I think is like, I don't know, tomorrow something. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. So we're going to clip it here, and then we'll show you the next four. You ready? Bam. It is much later in the day, <laughs> which is apparent by the artificial light that is glowing on my face right now from my laptop. So don't mind the funky lights, but my box finally came. I waited all day for the second half of my mystery bags. <laughs> so we're going to open it together. If I can find what I do with my scissors. Are on my desk. Of course. Aha! Under my notepad. Wow, that light is atrocious. There's no natural light out. It is approaching sundown and it is pouring rain outside. So you may hear thunder and loud crashing in the background. All right. That is not what I expected. All right. The first thing that is in here <laughs> is my big giant ball of yarn to finish my two hour world's largest corner to corner blanket, which I ordered. So uh, we got that. And I can finish my blanket. And then we have four 
mystery bags in here. I am so excited. I, I am so excited. I'm so excited. We have mystery bag, 100% acrylic, just white. This looks to me like it is probably unbanded every day. Yeah. I think that is probably Premier Every Day. Unbanded. It's actually like a cream color. It's hard to tell because the light that's coming off my laptop is kind of blue. But it's like a cream color. So there's five of those. Not bad. And, and I know in other videos I've complained about um, my Hirschner's haul. I complained about like nude or like nude. Nude. <laughs> Uncolored yarn. Um, the, I don't mind the everyday acrylic because I actually have things that that can accent. And then check this out. This is Universal Deluxe Worsted Super Wash. 100% Super Wash Wool. And it is in this go gorgeous charcoal gray color. Ooh, this is so nice. I have never, it is pouring outside. I have never seen this yarn before or touched it. Look at that. It is 220 yards plus or minus is what it says. It is 100 grams, 100% superwash, a medium number four, made in Turkey, charcoal heather. Isn't that beautiful? This is so exciting. Five of these for $10. Oh, I love the mystery bags. I've never been disappointed in the mystery bags ever from Premier. Ever. Like, that's crazy. That is gorgeous. What is this one? Mystery bag washed with similar colors, medium weight, 100% acrylic. This is purple. I have no idea what kind of yarn this is. But it goes good with the, the cream. Man, they sealed that closed. It seems like it is taped and then heat sealed. Yeah, we'll just pop the seam. There's three of these. So, ooh, that is very purple. Very purple. Wow, I'm like scary. <laughs> Look at purple. That's really nice acrylic. That feels good. Whew. It smells good too. One more bag, guys. And it is another bag of the Bamboo Bloom Hand Paints. I'm really excited about this. I am really excited. These, these mystery bags were so good. Now, I'm going to say this because... I've already had comments and this video hasn't even came out yet. The people are looking for the mystery bags. The mystery bags are sold out. And I think I said that in the first half of this video this morning. <laughs> but the mystery bags are sold out. You guys got it. If you hear of a mystery bag from Premier, jump on it. I'm telling you. This is the color that we got. Look at those colors. It's so pretty. And this is Bamboo Bloom Hand Paints. I read this to you a little bit ago. 48% rayon from bamboo, 44% wool, 8% acrylic. This is the color. Is this the color I had already? It says kimono. That ain't the color I had. What color did I have? I'll have to check the video. This is the color kimono. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. So, that is my premiere mystery bags. Four in this package and three in the last one. And I love every single one of them. Like, it was well, well worth the money to me. That is a big, that is a big skein of yarn. I'm going to have to find a place to put that so it doesn't come unraveled. This is probably my favorite out of this box. It is really, really nice. And that will pair up nicely with some of the yarns that I hand dye. 
because I don't put them all in the Etsy shop. I save a lot because they're mine. All right, guys. I'm going to end the video with this crazy lighting going on. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of my mystery bags from Premiere. And really seriously, keep an eye out because in the future, if you see them, snag them up. They're always good yarn. Always. In my opinion. Anyway. So, alright. I'm going to let you guys go. Bye.